What is going on YouTube? I'd like to welcome you guys back to Red's World. Today we're going to be getting back into another episode of Red Spooky Specials. We're going to be playing the second episode of The Suicide of Rachel Foster. Hopefully you guys seen the first episode. If you haven't, definitely go check that out. I'll put these in the playlist for you so it's easy to access. Um, if you don't know what Red Spooky Special is, all of October I'm going to be playing horror theme games or things along the line of Halloween, some festive things. Got a couple different things planned later on in the month for you guys. I'll give you more information on that soon. But let's go ahead and hop into this game. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Morning. Good morning, Nicole. <sighs> Get any sleep? I slept like a rock. I forgot my bed was so comfy. <laughs> so, any news? Uh, uh, what? Uh. Irving, Nicole, stranded up here. You snoozing? After a night of incomplete crossword puzzles, I wish I was. <laughs> Wait, you didn't sleep? Like, at all? I thought you might need something and... But, I... You didn't go home? Because of me? I'm a workaholic. Nah. So, uh, you chilling in the building with me. predicting a peak real soon, probably tonight. Uh, you can't move, not just yet. In theory, uh, what do you want to do? Um, I don't want to change the subject. I'm not ready for this kind of news at the crack of dawn. I'll eat, and then I'll think about it. It's time for you to take a tour of the pantry. Um. Yeah, I need to get something in my stomach or I won't make it out of here alive. You'll be forever grateful for big I'm pretty tweets. sure I'm near it. I have a map, don't I? Alright, so where we left off last time, I really feel like this dude is super suspicious. Nicole? Irving? Uh, how long has it been since someone's inspected the pantry? Inspected? You mean stocked? I'd just like to know if I should choose between malnutrition and food poisoning. There'll be tons of things to eat. Hmm. Oh, definitely no mice or roaches. Pretty sure about that. I was thinking more like mold, bacteria and such. Right, uh, ten years see. is a There's long time. To worry about. But how does he know? For a while I hid an ant farm in the closet. I think Leonard suggested it. One morning my bed was swarming with ants. You must have freaked out. My mother did. How is this relevant? The ant farm ended up straight in the trash. Your career as an entomologist nipped in the bud. Didn't think I still remembered all these little things. But anyway, this guy is very suspicious. Alright, let's see, where's the pantry? Um... But anyway, yeah, this guy is very, very, very suspicious. Like... Again, go watch the first episode if you haven't. It's just weird that this guy knows so much about this place and things like that. Um, this is where, if I'd came up these stairs, I hate this game. <laughs> this atmosphere is absolutely horrifying. Alright, let me pull out the map. First floor master suite. Overlook. Maybe it's on the next floor. I genuinely don't remember how to pull up the map. I just had it up though. I genuinely don't know where the pantry is though. I just heard something. My whole body is literally hot right now. This is by far one of the creepiest atmospheres I've ever played. It's not even that it's like... 
that crazy. It's just so quiet. Well, there's the dining room. So I was over here. No. Was I? Nope. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Is this the- is this not the pantry? I don't see a pantry, but we're gonna go back through here. Even though we've already been here. And this is not the pantry, right? So we came down the dining room and then turned into storage. This is the kitchen. Kitchen's up to code, honestly. I mean, nothing too bad. Food storage. What the hell? There's some food, but it looks moldy. Weird. I didn't expect that. Uh, there's a freezer. Take a look there. Okay. I don't like that he's, like, trying to get me to go certain places. I fucking hate this atmosphere. I imagine that water sound is from someone, or not someone showering, but from snow melting. Oh my god. I'm not ready, man. I'm not ready. This atmosphere is insane. We can go down again. to the church. So why are there sleeping bags here? I feel like we've kind of pieced together who our culprit is. Because this is just weird. I'm sorry, but if this is how we get to church, is this creepy-ass tunnel? Even if I'm the most religious person in the world, we're not gone. This shit is terrifying. Got some frozen soup, I guess. Oh shit. We're locked in here. Hey, you kidding? This is not good. If we're actually here alone, we're about to freeze to death. Oh, we're getting no signal. Alright, um... We might have to block the vents off with boxes or something. the hell is that noise? Oh, uh, I almost forgot. There might be a problem with the fridge door. Just make sure it doesn't close. Are you close. fucking with me? No. Wait, what did I say? It would have been more useful to know that before I got locked in. Oh, holy shit. I'm a freaking space cadet. Yeah. I could have died nah, in there. Hell no, we're getting the fuck out of here.
Nah, that's not just some strange happening, like, we were literally locked in there and someone came and unlocked the door. I'm going back to the room. This game is so tense. The microwave could be useful to heat the beans. The well then microwave the shit. Don't tell me I'm gonna have to go downstairs and use a microwave downstairs when I got one right here. Back to the kitchen. The hell? <clears throat> this whole building is just creepy as fuck, man. Is there a microwave in the kitchen that I can use now? I hope it's not a microwave, you just put a damn can in it. What the fuck? Nah, I don't like this. There's gotta be some knives or something in here. This is the longest time I've ever had to watch a microwave. What the hell? Is there anything in it? We're gonna eat one... One can of mug lunch. Uh-huh. Sorry to interrupt your continental breakfast. Uh, I got a hold of Mr. Jenkins, the attorney. About time. When's he getting here? He tried to make it. His car ended up in a ditch between York Road and Valley. Oh, come on. He called 911 after just a mile. I'm just gonna hole up in my room and cry, if that's okay with you. I yeah. can't imagine that. He asked me to give you a message. Here it is. He says to... Hmm. This is a swear word and you don't need to hear it. Uh, yeah. Uh, Nicole, at this point, start assessing the general conditions of the hotel on your own. Uh, jot down what you want to keep. I recommend you start with the second floor. It's surely the most damaged. Please, only call me if you've got good news. I'm not assessing shit. Please don't tell me we're about to really go do this. Man, what the fuck? You had the right idea when you said to just go to your room. Take a couple tables, a couple chairs, bookshelf, anything, block the door off, and just wait it out. Alright. Let's go to the second floor. Apparently this is the second floor. There's mold. There's some serious water stains on the second floor. That floor is pretty run down. There's some windows missing and water damage, too. Yeah. Jeez. Probably be better to check these things with a flashlight. We got a murder scene here or something? Here I am. Uh, what's up? The hallway on the second floor is cut off. The door to the west wing is locked. Your father started renovations, but he didn't get the bank loan and had to stop. Leonard's attic is at the end of the hallway. His man cave. Does that... mean something to you? I tried so hard to forget about that room for years. Anyway, uh, the west wing is pretty run down after all this time with no windows. Hello? Are you there? Yeah. You always have an answer to everything. What do you mean? Tell me something. What are you hiding from me? I don't understand, Nicole. You know yeah, how you to do. turn on the furnace, 
You know where to find food and that the fridge door is busted. You know my family's story and the hotel. Yes. It's up to FEMA to deliver the supplies nah, to isolated places like the Timberline. As hell. Uh, I've been up there with the truck every month since I've been on duty. Is something wrong? I don't know. I, I don't know what you know and what you don't know. Uh, what difference does it make? None. I... Now hold up. Let me just say, hell no. Nah. We are not just gonna pretend this guy didn't just walk around or I don't know what you know and don't know what you don't know. Hell no. No. Uh uh. I don't trust this I'm guy sorry at I all. You. No one can upset me. I better keep doing the inspection. You better get a weapon. These sounds are so good, man. I'm genuinely gonna have to turn the sound down a little bit, cause that shit is making me think someone is like crashing through my house. this Who the hell are you? Rachel is still there. Don't sell the hotel. Is this a joke? Who is this? You're going to pay for this lame ass joke. I have a phone, a cell phone. I'm talking with FEMA and I'm going to get them to call the sheriff. I'm good. Let me out of this building. You've developed a false sense of security in this place. And someone is here. You pissed at me? I don't have time to rehash my past with you. I've got a different problem. Someone just called the hotel. What? Who? Who gets their kicks out of crank calling me? It's well, not a joke. Your word gets around pretty fast. Uh, what did they say? They said, Rachel is alive. Don't sell the hotel. <sighs> Idiot. There's something else that doesn't make sense. The phone lines are down. Leonard stopped paying the bill months ago. I'll ask someone to run a check. I didn't know FEMA had FBI authority. Around these parts, time passes in a different way. Some stories seem like they've been forgotten, but actually they just sink down. Sink down? Like tea leaves in a cup. I think I get it. Almost. Not that at all. girl's death. Rachel. It was the result of painful events, and now it's someone's obsession. You talking about anyone in particular? Well, her death ruined two families that everyone looked up to. Yours and Rachel's. Your father, McGrath, a genius astrophysicist. And Rachel's father, the upstanding Reverend Foster, known all over the county. <laughs> Not something easy to forget around here. You know what I think? They can go get fucked, every one of them. I know what we went through. No one yeah. else. Yeah, and the people them. here. Everyone who's in this hotel. Don't think that I've forgotten. I'm still watching you. And to think you thought it was a joke. You genuinely thought that I wasn't going to come back. You 
you have not been liking any of my videos, you have not subscribed, you have not shared any of the content with your friends, I've had enough! You will do as you're told, or you will be deemed as a failed subject. I'm losing my patience. Please, don't make me have to do this. Alright, that was a stressful day. Way, way too much information. Oh my goodness, this is just... I'm uncomfortable. I'm literally sweating. <laughs> This is creepy as hell. I haven't played a game this with this good of atmosphere since like Outlast 2. This is really awesome. Hey cutie pie. Daddy? Uh, Nicole, it's Irving. Oh sorry. The fuck you calling me. Must have been sleeping pills in those beans. Since I've been here, it's like I'm literally hibernating. You had a tough- I was gonna say something about that. Earlier in the episode, she said she slept like a rock. Is she being drugged? I don't know how she would have been drugged, because I don't think she ate on the first day. And then on day two, she did. At least I don't remember. But, yeah, that's really weird. I'm I'm not sure, and it he you can see in the subtitles there it says uh, you had a tough day yesterday, which is true. Stress will knock you out, but it'll also keep you up too. So day yesterday, I think I had a dream about. I I don't, I don't remember. remember. Okay, I, I need you to pay attention though. Should I worry? The storm brought down some power lines. There are blackouts all over. Oh, I wonder why that doesn't surprise me. Because the electricity stormy. generator could go bust. I don't like the idea of you up there on your own in the dark. We need to do something. My electrical know-how is slightly limited. It's okay. I can guide you to the emergency generator. If we activate it, you'll be self-sufficient. Too easy. Where's the hitch? Uh, there are two ways of getting to the circuit breaker. Straight through the garage's side door, or from the floor you're on. But? The garage side door is stuck. You'll have to pass through the crawl space along the entire building and climb down from your floor. If the power goes out, you'll be completely in the dark. All right. What do I have to do? Uh, check the closet in your father's apartment and see if he left anything you can use for lighting. Ah, oh, on my way. Don't tell me this camera. Any news? I found a Polaroid. Family photo? Man, when you talk about atmosphere, I'm about to have to use a damn camera to light myself while I crawl through a crawl space and I power out in a snowstorm in a hotel by myself. Anything important? <sighs> no, I mean a camera. It looks like it works. You want to take a photo of the generator? No, you moron. I was thinking of using the flash for lighting. Or... Oh, smart. A flashlight. I wonder who this belonged to. Leonard, maybe? Some client probably left it. You can't imagine what people leave in hotels. Oh, I could tell you about the rubber friend that Mr. Rochford's widow left here in 82. Mayor Linden's kids and I used it as a miniature Indian totem pole for the whole summer. It was a huge scandal. <laughs> oh, jeez. A dildo. Oh, yep. Anyway, the Polaroid's better than nothing. The light from the flash could come in handy. Hey. Okay, Stuffer. almost there. I think the lights are getting worse. You need to move fast. On the same floor of your apartment, in the staff area, there's a small storeroom. Your father asked us several times to fix the lock. Fingers crossed, it's still broken. That's where the access to the crawl space is. The crawl space? 
I'd totally forgotten that. Remember where to go? No, but I do remember the panels were really hard to open. I wasn't allowed to go in there. What happens when I get to the closet? You'll have to go down to the breaker box and switch it on. All right. Doesn't sound like rocket science. Uh, hurry up, please. You suck at reassuring people. On the same floor as my apartment. Is that in the damn game? <laughs> I gotta, I gotta take a break. Not gonna lie, that scared the shit out of me. I had to literally go check the cameras in the back of the house and everything. <laughs> Give me the flashlight. All right, we got the crawl space. I found the crawl space, and also a dynamo flashlight. Know how to use it? I think I just have to push the lever continuously. Is everything okay? Not really. I don't remember the crawl space to be so narrow when the technicians went inside. Maybe you gained weight. <laughs> it's called okay. growing up, idiot. See, I didn't like this guy at first, and he's still kind of sketchy, but the other dude is freaking me out a little bit more. What the hell? Shit. What's wrong? Your prophecy came true. The power went out. It's completely dark. Pitch black. Uh, okay, stay calm. Uh, can you see the bundle of cables above your head? Uh, anyway, there should be some cables along the... Uh, yeah, I know what a bundle is. Okay, okay. Easy does it. All you need to do is follow them and you'll get to the generator room. Don't go any other way, otherwise... Who knows where you'll end up. Perfect. I got the flashlight, sorta. I got my breadcrumb trail, more like my cable trail, whatever. I can do it. All right, so yeah. that Hansel and Gretel Easy. reference? Does it. I want to ask you something. Okay. Uh, go ahead. How long has the hotel been closed? Uh, about four years. Uh, yeah, from 89. I mean, did anyone think about doing a thorough clean of the basement? Don't know. Uh, probably pretty rushed. Why? I found something. Another Polaroid? A lipstick. Huh. Doesn't that seem weird? Fuck it's you. A uh, lipstick? You don't get it. It looks really old. I remember this brand. The, the girls at school used it. Weird. What? It didn't dry out. I could even use it now. It's perfect. I'm afraid I don't get it. Irving, this brand doesn't exist anymore. It's been, I, I don't know, nine or ten years. Strange someone should wait 10 years to open a lipstick just to use it, don't you think? Why are you telling me this, Nicole? You want to get pretty there with the generator? Is this dude fucking mindless? Put two and two together, my guy. She's saying someone's in here with some damn lipstick. Someone took my keys. Someone's got lipstick. 
It seems like maybe they took the keys and then ran up the corridor back there with the bundles of wire. Are you crazy? Nicole, it's just another one of those things customers forget. Uh, I... Nah. No. Yeah. No. You're probably right. No. No, it's not. No. <laughs> Once again, another crazy ass day, but no. Mm -mm. Nah. Alright, well, we're gonna go ahead and end that episode there. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. That is The Suicide of Rachel Foster. The atmosphere is probably one of the scariest I've ever, like, literally, like, top five scary games just off the atmosphere. And I'm not trying to overhype it. I really don't try to overhype things, but. There was a couple jump scares, just sounds, just sounds that got me so good that I literally, like, my heart dropped, and I literally was like, was that in the game? The audio is incredible. So, definitely, definitely careful with this one if you guys play it, unless you like those types of, um, you know, horror effects. But, uh, yeah... This is this is interesting. There's so much suspense. I feel like someone's just going to run out and grab me at any time. Like, really, really well done. So, we are going to make a third episode. I, I believe this game's not too long, so the third episode should end it. Um, but I'm going to leave that there. So, thank you guys for coming to Red's World. Stay tuned for more to come soon. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.